Hello everybody, Shaziz here. This is a brief explanation of how the sun and the uh, solar flares can affect the uh, earth. Uh, we live on a, uh, a geothermal electromagnetic planet which essentially means because of the heat of the earth's core and all the different minerals in the uh, earth itself that uh, it produces electricity almost like a thermal couple in a uh, in a uh, furnace anyway what I have here is a representative of this pink one here being earth and this one here being the sun and so when the uh, earth spits out a coronal mass ejection or CME for short then that plasma heads towards the earth and uh, disrupts our electromagnetic field which is called our magnetosphere and uh, essentially anything that disrupts the uh, magnetosphere causes seismic activity by shaking the earth's core up and uh, can cause uh, earthquakes depending on the uh, intensity or can even cause uh, volcano eruptions so a lot of the effects that we are seeing here in the present day that are being mislabeled as uh, global warming slash climate change and all that kind of jazz are solar related uh, events from even the smallest uh, class C or class M uh, solar flares so um, with that said there when the uh, I'll go ahead and kick this over here I got an electromagnet here and I'm going to uh, just hit it once and you'll be able to see how both objects are affected and, and affect each other from their particular uh, fields Now, did you see that? The disruption of the field affects each one of them. Let me uh, see if I can. I'll put this on automatic here. I got a blinker switch hooked to two homemade coils for. There you go. See that? The magnetic field is being disrupted on uh, my version of the sun here and the earth itself. And so you can see how they're wobbling around because uh, the uh, earth's core is a uh, molten ball of metal. And so you can imagine when you're messing around with uh, magnets and the metal, uh, the magnetic field affects. the movement whatever <clears throat> either way this is a little crude uh, explanation of how the earth would affect or the earth would be affected by the sun's magnetic field and, and vice versa we also have a moon that uh, goes around us that causes seismic activity as well and so the uh, all the different fields combined interact with each other cause seismic activity and so on down the line but I just wanted to put this video out so uh, somebody could get a general idea of how the Sun could actually with solar flares affect the uh, Earth's magnetic field now if I unhook the disruption right here then eventually they'll calm down so we're wobbling through space and the sun's throwing a fit and shooting uh, solar flares out into space and when that uh, plasma hits our magnetosphere it causes a big electrical charge and uh, disrupts the magnetic field of course uh, you got to think if you got a, a magnet and you start taking chunks out of that magnet such as all the uh, mining of all the ores and metals that we've got you can you can change the strength of the field in certain areas and so on down the line but that's what's going on
That's why we're getting all shook up. As soon as the solar cycles subside, we'll be doing what you see is going on right there. And then if we get a mass, coronal mass ejection, uh, it'll start doing it again. Look at that. They didn't, they fell in love. <laughs> that was a big CME. It caused them all to attract. Put it back on the uh, blinker switch again. There you go. There's a neodymium magnet in one, and there's a little weaker magnet in the other to kind of simulate the power difference between the Earth and the uh, and the Sun. The Earth's uh, magnetic field's not quite as strong as the Sun. That's why the Sun has the capability of uh, affecting ours. So, there you go. Hope you understand what it is I'm trying to show you here. Peace out, everybody.